Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome back to some more Void Train. Uh, I thought, thought I'd start the episode heading out to the Void today. I wanted to run a double of Prophecy, as you can see. Oh, we're going to do a repeat, so... Looks like we're being held up by, uh, by research. So, I'm going to stop here. As you saw, there's going to be two sharks in this Void. There's going to be also an increase in leeches. Now, leeches I'm not too worried about. Uh, one of the things I did do, and I'm just going to go with the old uh, prospect here... Oh, good time to try this out. That's oh, the wrong one. Uh, what I've done is I replaced the core in this. I now have uh, the Ice Storm in there, which does 193% damage and it penetrates. Now, I haven't actually tried this yet. That actually does some really good damage. And apparently it penetrates, so this might actually do a little bit better for uh, the arenas. Now, the arenas, i got to work on. Now, I have looked at the video... I was editing it. Oh, I wasn't looking at that. Uh, I was looking at the video when I was, when I was editing, it, editing it, and it seems that the feet seem to be a weak point. So that might be something I'm going to aim for next time. Uh, I do have a sh one shark to deal with. I'm going to take care of this, but that is more or less the plan today. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of wood and chemicals and stuff, and the reason why I'm doing that is I want to start crafting more ammo. Now, the, the ice storm here... It does, uses one special ammo per shot, which isn't bad, but uh, I can go through it pretty quick in a, one box and it does 20, so I need to uh, make a lot of explosive powder, I need to get a lot of scrap to make a lot of steel just to keep up on the ammo, and then the armor plates and stuff, and I'm hoping that in this episode that I can get enough, get another arena, get some more research done. Uh, also, uh, I had some ideas for the, the train here. We'll go inside now. I've got the... This is the inside of the, the ship, uh, the, the ship walls, and I actually like that. Now, what I want to do is I actually want to turn it yeah, back to work. Slackers. But anyways, uh, what I want to do is I actually want to turn this car into all gathering stations. So I want to take those two out of there, bring them over here, and then turn this entire car into the ship wagon, and that's just going to be into sort of... Uh, sort of like a, a raft reference, and the reason why why that is is that's going to be where, be where our gathering is done, and they have the nets inside, and the uh, raft had those gathering nets. So, anyway, uh, enough of that. The reason why I didn't do that now is because I ran out of resources. Uh, I did actually upgrade all the chests. Uh, one of the things I've done is worked on the armory a little bit, create a couple more chests for guns here, and I've actually organized everything, magazines. Uh, I got grips in this side. Oh, I didn't actually label that one, but uh, grips here. These are all the tier three, so eight slots each. And I'm going to get into the habit of only keeping the blue and purple and stuff like that, not worry about the green ones because they're kind of pointless. And then, uh, yeah, it's for the back end here. I'm going to put the armory back here, Put all, uh, see if we get more, more storage for it, and then probably have the, uh, the gardens back here. But anyways, I have a shark to kill, I have resources to find, and I have an arena to finish. We'll be back. Oh man, I wish I was recording that. Came up behind me and I killed him in about three seconds. What, eight shots straight on and I got him. Ah, uh, what a shame, what a shame. I wish I had the time to record everything, just edit it afterwards. Man, are you ugly. Get out of my face. Anyway, one down, one to go. Oh, speak of the devil. Ah, stupid reload. Getting better. So it seems we have reached our destination sooner than expected. Uh, I honestly haven't been on the rails too long and Started seeing this, the lights off in the distance, like, oh, really? You know, I haven't seen anything, just a mine, uh, not even a minefield, just the two sharks that I saw at the beginning, and that was it. Uh, I didn't really have many for much for resources. I didn't have much iron to begin with. Uh, I was able to scrounge up enough to make some plates. I got some ammo that I had. I wanted to make a whole bunch more of the... Sorry, I made sure I'm recording. Make sure I had a whole bunch of the special ammo, but I didn't really have too much iron to spare. So I've got 17 of these, and I try not to use them unless I actually need the special ammo. And I try to focus on using this. 
Um, I really only need, really only need six. I'd like to get eight for the the RAM upgrade, which I haven't done yet. I should, should have done that at the, the last depot. Uh, not that, I don't, don't really need that, but that's something to think about. So, I don't know. Uh, probably going to go r three rounds. Uh, it's been getting pretty tough. I'm going to see how the alternate fire on this thing works with the, the ice shots. And then... Yeah, hopefully I can take out the tank guy a little bit better. Okay, I'm back. Well, that was going okay at the beginning. It didn't really turn out too good. Uh, second, third round there, I started uh, fumbling and stuff. Now, what did I put that way? I put it in the first aid. So, that gave me another six. So, it gives me nine. I got the chest. And I didn't really use the special ammo. Um, I was having problems. I, 
talk about this uh, number pad I have in my mouse. I tried to disable it, but uh, the software I tried to install it with couldn't connect to their server to download it, so that wasn't working. So uh, I'm trying to keep my thumb off of it, but uh, when I start moving the mouse around too much, it kind of slips and I hit, end up hitting number one, which brings out this gun. So maybe what I should do is a smart thing. That's always going to be the button that I hit every time is this one. Anyway, oh, that's uh, not what I want to do. Let's put that away. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get everything ready to go for this. And I think I actually have enough to do it uh, to get these things to researched. So I will do that and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I'm back and I do have everything ready to go. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, so let's start with the, the power plant one. What was this? Oh, yeah, this uh, gives me more steam, I think it was. And uh, diesel engine efficiency, just better efficiency on the fuel. And then engine durability, which hasn't been an issue yet on once. And that was my fault right into a line field. All right, ground plate hook two. Uh, experience build that all buildings are more resistant to damage. Oh, that's a lot of acid there. And our plate two, just three steel. Might actually be able to do this. Uh, see what this is all about. Uh, I'll be back in just a moment. Actually, do I have any steel left? I don't think so. I think I used it all. But I do have some iron, so let me get this smelted up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the three, three, three steel. I just want to see what the recipe is going to be for these things. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be like more durable plating. Uh, other than that, it's going to be acid there and acid there. I need. I need three more, I think. Yeah, I need two. One for the mineral oil, one for the, uh, the rubber, and so on and so forth. But uh, we shall see. Uh, I just want to quickly check the recipe on this. It's going to be in here and our plate too. Steel bar. Kind of curious to see how these are. Let me check craft one up and we'll check it out. Okay, now realistically using, making them out of steel isn't that big of a deal because steel just costs one iron anyways, just one more smelting process got to go through. So now I want to see what this actually does to the bar. I'm guessing that just makes it uh, slightly more durable maybe? Oh, I guess I should have actually moused over it because it won't tell me over here, will it? No. I guess it's just plus two armor maybe. But other, anyways, there isn't much left for me to do except uh, push on, and I'll bring you back if anything eventful comes comes along. I did fix the RAM, so if I come across an outpost, I'm not really stopping. I'm just going to push forward, and I'll meet you at the end. Ah, uh, yes, an outpost. No, I don't want to deal with it. We're going to ride in the front seat, though. It's like a roller coaster. See if we can take anybody out on our way out, way through. Uh, give this new armor plate. Oh. Actually, you gotta hit the afterburner here. Uh, come on, afterburner. There we go. Now, you'd almost think we'd have a push with this. This doesn't really seem to be going that fast. I almost wonder if it would go faster if it was only pulling the one wagon. Oh, was there nobody there? Didn't have time to react. I'm gonna stop just in case I run into a minefield. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't need that happening again. Anyway, I got her. It's almost like a sign from heaven or the void. One of the two. Kind of coincidental, though, but we'll find out. I wish I was recording that. I'm going along here and I'm hearing this chirping. I'm like, what is there a bird or something? And I look, <laughs> and there was one of the, pro the, the proximity mines like stuck to the side of the train. Did 13% damage. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, I think we're getting close though. I'm just coming through another minefield here. Uh, so far, it hasn't been terrible. I did find run across uh, two of the puzzle areas. Each one gave me two chests. So we have five total, including the one we got from. Uh, the arena, and I'm expecting to show up at the void gate pretty quick here if I don't blow the train up in this minefield. This is, uh, I think, the second or third one so far in this trip. Uh, surprisingly, I've only seen two leeches. Anyways, I'll see you shortly. 
Okay, we're coming up to the void gate finally. Uh, and it just occurred to me, I never even noticed there was a compass on the map, on the top of the screen there. We've always been heading north. Uh, as far as supplies go, I'm actually doing really good on supplies. I've found a couple of trains, uh, got a lot of iron already cooked up, got a lot of steel. Well, I don't have a lot of steel cooked up, but I got enough to get going. There's not really much we can do until we get more acid, though, because we got to start upgrading or doing more research. Uh, but I think I'll be able to get the, uh, get the new RAM upgraded today in this episode, in this depot. Yes, that's the word. Uh, anyway, it's going to be a bit of a trek, so uh, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to take care of the old bad guys, and we'll open up our chest and see what kind of goodies we get. Oh yeah, before we go in, uh, regarding the, the armor plate too, it actually adds two armor to it. So that's actually two of the armor sections. Uh, so it doesn't add double the armor, it just adds two plates instead of one. So it's just an inventory management idea. Anyway, uh, I'll be back. Okay, I got them all cleared out. It was a fair number here. It was uh, quite the battle. Uh, I was uh, messing around with the Annihilator. The Annihilator actually works pretty good with these guys. It takes a few rounds, but you could go by and do like 50 damage to each one. So it wasn't terrible. Uh, I still do a lot better with just this. That's the, you know, it's got such a pretty good fire rate, so uh, it's not bad. But anyway, so let's uh, see what our chests have. Okay, this is... Uh, that's the last one I picked up. Oh, we got another weapon core. What did we get? Uh, another annihilator. Ah, oh, it's actually random. It does a little bit more damage. A little, a little less range. Okay, interesting. Uh, pick up the rest of the stuff while I can. I'm gonna have to start doing something about these seeds too. Oh, I'm out of room already. Alright, well, let's open up the rest of them and see what we get. I can always do inventory management in a moment. And then another one? Any other? Oh, I, I just realized we didn't get a mushroom out of the other one there. Alright, well, we got one mushroom there. Oh, and another weapon core. Uh, I actually want to see what that is. No, I do not want to pick up the chemicals. Probably drop the ice, if anything. Uh, actually, yeah. Iron will stack. That will stack. And what is that? Uh... Another ice storm. This one does a little bit less. It'd be nice if we'd be able to recycle the weapon, weapon parts, but, uh... Alright, well, uh, bring on the next. Let's see what other goodies we get. Maybe we'll get something worth making inventory space for. Oh, uh, another one. Alright, uh... Drop the leather and let's see what... Drop the leather and... Or we can do that. Doesn't matter. Because I'm going to pick it up all up anyways. And another Annihilator. Alright, well, it looks like it's going to be about the same. Uh, as you can see, i got six tokens too. So let me finish opening up the rest of these chests and then uh, do some inventory management and I'll be back. Things are going to get very interesting. There's a couple things I did find. Uh, let's load this up onto the table here. We'll do the furious blindness. Uh, for one, I did find another frame. I found the Piranha here, which does more damage, has a faster fire rate, better accuracy, better stability. We will do that. I did not put that on. Now it's saying 300 now. 304. Oh, hang on. I was saying something. Oh, wait, why is that putting the alt? Oh, I see. Okay. Some frames don't actually allow the core. This one actually does allow the core. That's why. Okay, well, speaking of cores... Flamethrower. I'm going to have to try this thing out. Uh, give me that. Uh, do I have a special ammo? I do. No, I don't. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, sure. Now, it's not cheap. It is using uh, two special ammo per second, but it's doing 161% damage. Let's uh, see how this does. Huh. Interesting. Really access, so it's going to look kind of funny, but cool. I'm definitely going to make sure I don't fire that off inside the 
the train here, but uh, I might actually save this. So actually, I wonder if uh, the prospect can pick that up. No, uh, that's a shame. I don't think we can actually modify that. All right. Well, uh, I think the next thing on the agenda is to feed our friends. Let's put this away before we hurt them. Uh, we should actually see if we have a new friend today. Uh, we've got a few, do a few other things we gotta do too. Um, while we're here, we might as well. Wait, what is? Wasn't this open before? Apparently not. But we gotta go see what new prophecy we have. Was that you making that noise, or was? Is that me kicking something? I have no idea. Alright, what do we get? Number of sharks in the void, plus one. Uh, let's see what this does for us. Uh, more chemicals. I'll hang on to that. And now we go hit the old slot machine and see if we get anything good. And it's bomb. Oh, maybe not. Why is that blue and green? That's kind of garbage, so whatever. Next. Ah, that's the bomb. That is the bomb, yes. Candy, yay, another token. And... Numbers mean nothing to me until I actually put it on the gun. I don't know why I'm looking at it. Oh, it's another bomb. Wow, I'm on a roll. Let's see if we can get three. No, scrap. And I think that's the last coin. Hey, a prophecy. A good one? Yeah. Not too bad, actually, because uh, there's only one shark we have to deal with. Maybe it'll be all items again. More wood. More wood and more chemicals. Well, I've got more wood that I know what to do with, and... Uh, more chemicals I know what to do with. Okay, next, let's see who's hiding here. And that was uh, unintended. I guess if you walk while you go in place, then it uh, kind of throws them. You're different. Craftsman and bonus items at the workbench. Nah, you can stay. Alright, uh, there's not really much upgrades we can do for, to the train, I don't think. I think I'm kind of holding off everything. I actually wanted to see what the new RAM was going to cost. Uh, guess I'll dismantle it and see what the new one will cost. Two rubber, medium durability, low durability, so that means I can do it more, but that's two rubber. Hmm. Looks fancy though. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Let me do it, take care of that, and then uh, I also gotta, I'm gonna rearrange these um, gathering stations too. I wanted to put them all in this car, but that means I gotta move stuff around, so let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am done for this episode. Anyways, uh, this is the Ram 2. This is a little bit more substantial than I was expecting. Kind of looks like it's clipping to the track there a little bit. Uh, this is a bit of a bug. Uh, I still have the resources. The two rubber uh, and two steel. I've already removed it and put it back on and it's still not taking the resources. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna call this a win for BC. Uh, next, we're gonna go into here. It's a little dark. I gotta get the lighting going more in here. This has all been stayed the same. It took so long to move stuff in this game. It's unbelievable. But here we have our four gathering stations. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, let me get some light back in here. Hold on. Okay, so I'm adding the, adding this after I finish the episode. I actually forgot to do this before I ended it, but uh, we forgot to feed our mushrooms. So let's go find our little friends and see who's hungry. I, haven't, I don't think I've fed you yet. Let's pick you up and see what you can give me. Let's give you a mushroom and 
Let's see if we get any goods. Maybe get some better lighting or something like that. Raider carpet. Carpet. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, won't be feeding you again. What about you? What are you gonna give me? I don't trust those eyes. And we got ship bedside table. Okay. Uh, I'll come back to you maybe another time. What about you? I know it doesn't really matter. It's all RNG based, but yeah, they all all gotta eat, right? Wallboard. Huh. Interesting. All right, and uh, who else? You already ate. Why are the rest of them hiding? Uh, you haven't eaten yet. Let's see what I can give you. Or well, what you can give me, I should say. Almost makes me want to eat one of these mushrooms myself. A ship carpet. Oh. Another question is, can I put, place objects on that carpet? We'll find out in just a moment here. And how about you? You can have the last one. Should be the last one. Boring. Never feeding you again. Okay, that was the last one. Let's actually see what this, what this ship wall board is all about. Uh, vendor decor. Actually, the carpet. Ooh. Oh, it does go under things, too. Ooh. Ooh, let's check this out. Let's have a look and see what this looks like. We got a carpet. Let's have a look what this Raider carpet looks like. And this is going to be like iron plate. Well, that's not bad. I don't mind that. What other goodies did we get? Uh, I think that was about it for carpet. We have different types of flooring. And the other thing was this uh, bedside table. Which is no different than the, the Raider armchair, which doesn't even look like an armchair. It looks like a stool more than anything. Oh, wow. This is actually a little bit bigger than I thought. Can I interact with it? No, I can't. Can I place a lamp on it? Uh, do I have a lamp anywhere? Hmm. I should. Oh, we got a lamp right here. That's the wrong button. That's what I want. Aha. Grab you, and... You won't fit there because the light's in the way. So I'll move you over here. And we'll put you up top. Alright, so that works. Cool. I do know there's a lot of stuff you can unlock with these guys. So that means a lot of mushrooms you'll find. A lot of chests and all sorts of stuff. Oh, that's cool. You can actually kick, kick the litter around. Anyway, enough goofing off. Back to finishing off this episode. Okay, I got it all taken care of. I actually had to record this, this uh, segment again because I forgot one thing, and that was at the end of the train. But this is the gathering station, so we got the collection nets as a tribute to Raft. This is where our gatherers are going to be. I already assigned uh, the two guys, the new ones I built here. So yeah, this is our gathering wagon. And then I moved the armory over here. Uh, sort of organized things a little bit, but basically these are going to be chests with the guns. Uh, all that supposed to be guns, but this is... Uh, uh, the cores for now. I uh, still gotta do a little bit of organization in here. But then I got the mags here, I got the barrels, frames, and container 3, which is supposed to be grips. And that's grips as well. And then, of course, a couple more chests here. Uh, between now and the next episode, I might do a little bit more lighting up in here, maybe a little bit more decoration and go on from there. But I think we gotta hit up another another arena or two 
or at least one, so we can get some more progress done. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. You got such small eyes. <laughs>